Hey guys, Kyle here. Today I got a Borderlands video for you guys, and uh, we're basically going over the new update gearbox added recently that adds a little mini game into the game. Um, this can be found on Tannis' workstation upstairs. It's called Borderlands Science, and um, yeah. So basically, the objective is to match up some symbols, and you get some cool rewards like skins and bonuses in game, uh, with the end objective to beat Tannis' high score. So guys, there's a little cutscene about the play. If you don't want to watch the cutscene, skip ahead to around 4 minutes and 10 seconds and uh, yeah without further ado I'll uh, let the cutscene play out. Hey folks, this is Mayim Bialik, actor, PhD scientist, researcher and your favorite person. Today I'm here to talk to you about video games and science and how we can grab both by their necks and make them kiss consensually. Long story short, by playing Borderlands 3, you can contribute to real-world scientific research, as in data that helps real people in meat space. Speaking of meat, did you know that more than half the cells in our bodies are alien? Only 43% of our cells are of human origin. The rest belong to foreign microbes. These microbes have a massive impact on our body's health. The more we study microbes, the more we can learn about the accumulation of meat and existential terror that is the human body. These microbes are made up of DNA, just like us. Each microbe has its own special DNA signature, and similar species of microbes have similar DNA. If we could sequence all the different species of microbes found in the human body, which, remember, make up more than half of the cells in our body, we'd learn a ton about ourselves. To that end, the Microseta Initiative collected tens of thousands of samples of, to use the scientific term, doo-doo, extracted the DNA of the microbes inside, and sequenced it. Now we just need to organize this data. Unfortunately, though computers excel at certain tasks, like crunching numbers or tracking down specific pornography, they're not so good at organizing DNA information. See, different species of microbes have similar, but not quite identical DNA. That means mapping their sequences can be kind of ambiguous. The computer makes lots of small mistakes that can corrupt downstream analysis. Which brings us back to video games. So we've got several million sequences that are each 150 nucleotides long that are riddled with small errors from the computer analysis. How can we get rid of all these errors? With your help. We've taken the millions of DNA sequences and broken them down into bite-sized puzzles that you can play and solve inside Borderlands 3. And try not to think about the fact that the DNA came from human excrement when I use phrases like bite-sized. By playing Borderlands Science inside Borderlands 3, you'll be directly helping our scientists organize and compare this dung data. The game is simple. You'll be confronted with different strands of DNA, each made up of individual tiles. It's your job to place as many of these tiles as possible in their appropriate row while matching the colors. It's not always possible to line everything up perfectly, but that's okay. By playing the game and matching the sequences, you'll also be identifying the errors in our computer analysis and helping scientists across the planet build a better algorithm for the future. And since all this research is open access, the entire scientific community will benefit from it. This research could directly lead to a universal catalog of all known microbes, which could lead to new breakthroughs in food, medicine, exercise, the sky's the limit. And it all starts with you playing a video game. But if the pursuit of knowledge isn't enough of an encouragement to sort through virtual butt microbes, then fear not. Playing Borderlands Science earns you in-game currency you can spend on booster items for your characters. Oh, and this is all totally free. Just activate the Borderlands Science machine on Sanctuary 3 and sort some gut microbes. So guys, basically what Borderlands Science is, is a cool little mini game in which you can match up these little symbols on the bottom row along with the side symbols. And you do that by inserting various tokens into this, uh, well, kind of like mini game. You can see here I raised the icon of Flak and I can take away a symbol just like that. So what you want to do is match them all up as much as you can on each Great row. Job. And uh, once you do that, you will complete the level. Um, you can, on harder levels, uh, try and get the high score by mixing and matching different uh, symbols around. But uh, yeah, they do get quite hard as they go along. Like some of them do get really tough. And uh, it's a good time sink on times like these. So um, yeah, if you want to check that out, guys, 
it's a really cool thing it's a free update you can chill out and play away at it if you're bored one evening and you can see here we get currency for it uh, this currency can be used to unlock new bonuses and uh, other items in the uh, little kind of game store so I'll take you to that now and kind of run down then with you so guys these are all the bonuses you can purchase with your coins from playing the mini game the first one being the brain nanobots which gives you 25% more combat XP for two hours the lucky jabber foot will give you 100% more cash for two hours the caffeine caplets will give you 10% reload speed and 50% run speed 15% run speed for two hours the jabber cola will give you 10% more damage for one hour uh, the elemental power powder, sorry, <laughs> will give you 20%, 25% more elemental chance, 10% more elemental damage for one hour, and the butt stallion milk will give you upgraded loot quality. So, guys, that's pretty much all the Borderlands Science update encompasses, and uh, yeah, I really hope uh, this video helps some of you, and maybe just give you something to do when you're bored during this quarantine. <laughs> um, yeah, so thanks very much for watching the video, guys, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.